Why do cats always seem to have that smug look on their faces? Is it because they know something we don't? Or maybe they're just naturally gifted with the art of looking down their noses at us? Let's dive into the feline mind and find out what goes on in there. Imagine, if you will, a cat named Penelope. Now, Penelope is no ordinary cat. She's a feline entrepreneur who invested in catnip before it was even legalized. She's sitting pretty on a mountain of catnip stocks, thinking to herself, I knew I was onto something. But then there's her brother Wayne, who missed out on the catnip boom. Poor Wayne. All around Penelope are familiar faces, yet Wayne's is one of regret. Now let's shift to a different scene. A cat named Ginger Snap is waiting for the humans to bring in a new goldfish. She's got her paws crossed, hoping it's not a snapping turtle. She's had enough of those, but hey, if it's a turtle, she's got a plan. She's a survivor, that Ginger Snap. And then there's Barbara, the intellectual feline. She's been trying to answer the question, well, what novel won the Pulitzer Prize in 1960? For ages now. She knows the answer, to kill a mockingbird, but she's playing it cool. She's not one to show off her literary knowledge. Oh, and let's not forget that drama queen, Jessica. She gives a whole new meaning to cat on a hot tin roof, always in the spotlight, always causing a fuss. Then there's Jason Robert Pyle, the community enforcer. If you dare to drop turds outside the communal litter box, he'll threaten to neuter you. He's not playing around. And in the corner, there's Ivan the Terrible. Don't let his name fool you. He's not terrible, he's just misunderstood. He's the one with the crazy eyes, always looking out for everyone else. But hey, don't forget to pay him his toll. He's got a business to run. In conclusion, cats are just as diverse and complex as us humans. They have their entrepreneurs, their intellectuals, their drama queens, and their community enforcers. They may seem smug, but maybe they're just content in knowing that they've got their own unique personalities and roles within their feline society. And perhaps they're just amused by our human antics. After all, they've got the best seats in the house.